So we have a battery and we have a resistor array and we want to try to use our equivalent resistors rules for series and parallel to make this a little bit simpler. So what we can see is we can see our battery and as we travel through our battery we have to then travel through the 3 ohm. There's no choice from the battery that doesn't involve the 3 ohm. So we're saying the 9 volt and the 3 ohm are in series with each other, right? We have to go through one and then the other. And then we reach this junction and we see that we could travel the 12 ohm, we could travel the 18 ohm, or we could travel this 9 and 27 path. So we're going to say that these three are in parallel. Now, with this 9 and this 27, if I travel over the 9, I have to travel over the 27. So we can say that the 9 and 27 are in series. And there's nothing else that they're in series or parallel with, right? So we should do this series rule first. So we have a series, and our, our equivalent would then be 9 ohms plus 27 ohms, which is 36 ohms. And then it might be nicer to draw these three as kind of we expect parallels to look like. So we can draw our battery like this, we can draw our 3 ohm like this, and then we can kind of just draw three separate paths. And right, since there's nothing in here, we don't really care how the three converge. Sorry, we're going to have some very ugly resistor drawings. And so we now have a 36 ohm, we have an 18 ohm. 12 ohm and coming back here and so the next thing that we can see is we can see our 12 18 and 36 are in parallel with each other so our, our equivalent for all of these right as we redraw this into a two resistor circuit right this is 3 ohm and this is what our, our equivalent is going to be, is going to be 1 over 12 plus 1 over 18 plus 1 over 36. So I've, of course, right, uh, made this such that it's easy to do. All of them have a common denominator of 36, so it's 3 over 36 plus 2 over 36 plus 1 over 36 the negative 1, 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, 6 over 36 is 1 sixth, to the negative 1 will give us that this is 6 ohms, so that our R equivalent is 6 ohms. Now we have here 9 volts, 3 ohms, 6 ohms, and we can take a look and these 3 and the 6 are in series with each other, and so right, we then have our series rule. I think we feel pretty good that 3 plus 6 ohms would equal 9 ohms. And so we have for ourselves at last just a very simple one battery, one resistor circuit. Volts, 9 ohms. So now we can use our uh, Ohm's law and we say that right delta V over the resistor is equal to the current times its resistance. Well, if I go up 9 volts, then I have to go down 9 volts. So I have 9 volts equals I times 9 ohms. And so the current is 1 to 1. Well, as we build back this, right, this 9 ohms and this 3 ohms, that means that this resistor is 1 amp. And it means that we have 1 amp that goes over this 6 ohm which means that we have, right, one amp going into here and one amp coming out of here. We can also look, right, this 6 ohms times this one amp means that over this bridge we have a distance, uh, a voltage difference of 6 volts. So now we can find for each of these individually, right, we have 6 volts equals I over the 12 ohm times uh, 12 ohms. 
6 volts is equal to I over the 18 ohm times 18 ohms, and 6 volts is equal to I over the 36 ohms times 36 ohms. So a little bit of math later, right, and we get that our I12 is going to be 6 divided by 12, or 1 half of an amp. I18 is going to be 6 divided by 18, or 1 third of an amp. And I36 is going to be, right, 6 divided by 36, so 1 sixth of an amp. What that means then is that this 26 7 ohm is going to have 1 sixth of an amp, but it's in series with this. This will also be 1 sixth of an amp, right? This is 1 half an amp, this is 1 third an amp, this is 1 amp. And then if we want to, we can then calculate the voltage difference over these individually, but we have, right, 3 volts, 6 volts, 6 volts, and the combination of this is 6 volts. And so then this will be, uh, right, 6 quarters, and this will be uh, 18 quarters. Kind of ugly, but that's fine. So this is how we, right, draw our circuit and redraw it as simple as possible, and then build the whole thing back up to solve for whatever we need to from this.